My mother was diagnosed at age 47 and she had the test done. She was positive for BRCA1, a gene that greatly increases the risk of breast, ovarian and other cancers. It was really important with the familial history that we had that that I get the testing done. Like their mom, sisters Tova Carson and Sky Holt both tested positive for the gene, but they chose very different ways of dealing with that information. My husband and I had had long conversations and kind of already made the decision that if I was, if I tested positive that, you know, we were going to kind of go full bore with all of the surgeries. Complete hysterectomy and double mastectomy with reconstruction. Even with that decision made, Sky had wondered. Am I going to still feel like a woman or am I going to feel like incomplete or not whole? And I don't feel that way. Prophylactic surgery followed by yearly checkups was the right choice for Sky. I've decided for now I'm going to do surveillance. I Every six months, to... Tova has a mammogram and or an MRI to screen for breast cancer. But because there are no good screening tools for ovarian cancer, she did have a complete hysterectomy. Mayo Clinic Dr. Sandy Pruthi says both surgery and surveillance are viable options. There's good evidence that women who have that intensive surveillance close follow-up um, if the cancer was detected, it would be caught very early. And these women actually have similar survivals to those who've had a prophylactic mastectomy. It's all a matter of personal preference. Some people with family histories that suggest there might be a gene may not be sure they should get tested. Sky and Tova say for them, it was crucial to know. Then you can make informed decisions. You don't have to sit there and wonder you know, what if. For Mayo Clinic News Network, I'm Vivian Williams.